아. 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 for which I'm always excited and when it comes to festival decorations especially something that will need a backdrop I prefer using saris um, they already have so much of wow factor with its design color and patterns and this time this season I chose these rich tissue silk Kanchivaram uh, very close match colors that I have in my wardrobe now you can mix and match colors just the way I did for Diwali last year with pastel color saris but now I want to go for something looking rich and vibrant um, with its shine. Um, these are actually my wedding saris that I'm using today. I have a rope that is tied high, nice and uh, secure to hold all of these three saris. I just hang them close to each other and then spread it out. And then I start pleating them, folding them at a distance in which way they will look neat and also give a great look as the backdrop. I have ironed the pleats using my Cricut Easy Press On in which way the pleats will stay very nice, firm and flat. I'm very happy with the outcome. Um, now placing our mantap back in its place. I have moved the mantap to one side and the rest will be for Ganapati Bappa. Uh, here is a hula hoop in small size. I'm using a lace that I bought from India this year. Um, I'm using a blue tack to start and to hold the lace uh, in its first place and then I just twist and turn the lace all over the hoop. Um, I felt this lace matched very well with the colors of the sari and on completing uh, the ring I'm not cutting the lace as I'm going to use the lace uh, later for creating maybe a sari or a dress uh, but for now I will keep it at the bottom which will not be visible. Now I'm going to secure the hoop with the help of brown packaging tape. Here I have some gold ticklies that I and Shreya made strings and use them as hangings. These sparkles not just add so much of glitter but also complemented the whole of the copper and gold backdrop. Now I place the other puja essentials, asan, diyas and a small cute asan for Gauri, bangles. Now here is two mm. women empower women collaborations that I had promised and I have got a few ladies who are doing extremely well with their art and creativity that I was amazed to see their work and I'm very happy to showcase and promote their businesses with you all. This is from Shweta Pujar who started Card Pop two years ago alongside as her job as an engineer. Card Pop is a 3D pop-up handmade greeting card manufacturers who are based outside of Bangalore. They use modern 3D modeling techniques and high precession laser cutters. These intricate designs are cut and hand assembled. Uh, there were many people who had questioned them saying who would buy the greeting cards these days when you can wish people over WhatsApp. But Shweta was firm with her decision and wanted to bring in the personal touch with attractive designs. They are a small company at this point but within this time Shweta has managed to grow with her decision and her passion on reaching out to many people selling the products online and through their website on Amazon, Flipkart and Misho. So hard work and passion towards your dream always has the way Shweta has strongly proved this. There is a card for every occasion that you can think of. Every card is so beautifully designed, keeping every element Aww. on mind with yes, color, combination, that. design, pattern. And I have worked a little with a laser cutting machine and I myself know from my experience how much time is taken in actually making it do. I admire each and every design and for the time and patience in actually creating them. What I love the most about this idea is these greeting cards can be used as mementos on desks which can be a keepsake. These are such wonderful card pop that I am planning to give them away to all the ladies who will be coming home for Haldi Kunku. Now my idea here is to make Shweta's work card pop reach as many as it can. Now I am not going to write any best wishes or anything in the card but these will be given as it is to my friends to use for themselves to pass it on in which way card pop will be known to a larger number of people. 
So I have my tray of haldi kumkum packets and these card pops to give away. I'm leaving a link for you all in the description box to check the card pop website. Coming back from India, getting into the kitchen to cook something is something that I'm really not looking forward for or willing to cook to be honest. Uh, but <laughs> there are certain packs that I have received from Krishna Veni and her team who is actually my cousin Akka. She runs a team of people who make a delightful list of South Indian dishes that are homemade products made with love. They offer a wide variety of delicious sweets, snacks, instant foods, masala powders. Everything is freshly made, prepared on orders. Their special dishes are Nippattu, Chakki, Karat Avlaki, which are seasoned with spices and flavors. Now, she has sent me lots of masala powders such as Pulio Grape Powder, Wangi Bath Powder, Bisibile Bath Powder, Sambar Powder, Rasam Powder, Sabji Masala Powder, Open Dosa Powder, Kadli Pudi, Shinga Pudi, Gural Pudi, Hesar Pudi, Mente Pudi, uh, Mensin Pudi, Karbe Pudi, Ginger Pudi, Andhra Chutney Pudi, Mente Chutney Pudi, Dhania Pudi, Belloli Pudi, Jirke Pudi, Karki Pudi, Lady's Finger, Bendekai Pudi, Bitter God, Agal Kai Pudi, Hurle Pudi. Now here is to something that I am going to quickly prepare with the masala powders that Krishnaveni Akka has sent. I am using her Wangi Bath powder which is quite aromatic and I can smell the strong flavours. They also make ready to cook idli mix, upma mix, rava idli mix, rava dosa mix, dosa mix, moong dal mix which is pesaritu mix, ragi dosa mix which are so useful and helpful for all those people who are working and for students who are away from home. Using her powders, I have filled my spice jars. So here is a quick version using Wangi Bath powder. Here is to a little twist how you can use the Wangi Bath powder in different ways. I have coarsely ground the avlaki which is poha flakes in the mixy jar and in a pan I have oil, mustard seeds, two handful of peanuts, a tablespoon of chana dal and urad dal, curry leaves, one big onion that I saute and then add in the Wangi Bath powder. Now you could use the same recipe in creating so many more dishes um, like upma, rice or poha flakes the way I am doing today. Making it simple, quick and yet very flavorful with a freshly ground wangi bath powder. I sprinkle in water only to how much I will need in which way the avlaki will soften but will not be mushy. And this is just the texture that looks really good to eat. I finish it off by adding in coriander leaves and a teaspoon of desi ghee. Having such powders at home can ease up the whole process of cooking not just on a daily basis but also when you have a party or a gathering. I have a cup of crushed wheat that I have washed. Now here is to my very instant way of using uh, their Visibele bath powder sent in by Krishnabini and her team with a tablespoon of sesame oil which is yellow and then I add in two tomatoes chopped. Once the tomatoes are softened, I add in the crushed wheat, water, cooked turta, which is half a cup, tamarind pulp, a small chunk of jaggery, salt to taste, bisibeli bath powder mix and finishing it off with coriander leaves. And I am using the bisibeli bath powder uh, for this recipe. Uh, doesn't have to be tedious and time consuming. Uh, such recipes, uh, the one which I am showcasing can be tweaked yet getting the flavours of Bissibile Bath on a working day as well. Um, the main essence here is the powder which has been sent. Make the karka with a tablespoon of sesame oil, mustard seeds, handful of peanuts, a teaspoon of chana dal, a teaspoon of urad dal, curry leaves, hing that I add into the Bissibile Bath. Here's to another quick version that Akka herself has shared the recipe with me using her nippattu. These nippattu as you can see yourself look rich with flavours and colour and one can easily tell they are homemade and delicious with a crunch even after it being 10 days they are not at all oily. They are still very fresh and very tasty. Uh, they are, nippats are quite flavourful. Now here is to a little trick that you can do. During the travel when you have the nippat which are broken into small pieces, I gather them and put them in the mixy jar. I whisk them crushing them into a powder. 
Now to this, I have sauteed a few green chilies in oil and then adding them into the mixi jar along with a few curry leaves and a small garlic clove. Combining them and here is to a nippet mix powder that you can enjoy or serve elderly people who have difficulties in crunching nippet too. Here is to another venture that has been started 5 years ago following her passion for handmade form of arts like crochet, knitting, sewing with the name Akriti Handmade. They also make fabric packs, cotton quilts, pouches, organizers made according to the choice of prints, pattern, size selected by customers and this business is owned by Ashwini who is from Mysuru. And one of her most loved product is the Chaukabara mat which is an age old game that she has sent it uh, to me giving it a beautiful look using fabric and stitches. It's packaged with a set of pawns, kavde and a pouch to keep the game ready always. They have an Instagram page of all the products they sell and you can have a look and follow the page to see all their creative work. Ashwini has also kindly sent me this patchwork pot holder. Even though this is a pot holder, I would like to start using it today with Papa's blessings to make it his asana, super soft that he would love and feel very relaxed at our home. When someone sends something to me with love, I love it more than anything else. Especially during COVID times, this was one of our very favorite board games that we spent hours playing as a family. And ever since then, we carry it wherever we go, uh, even for Christmas holidays to a different country. But we used a paper and a pen to sketch this game. But when this Akriti handmade chokabara set, which is so cute, elegant and portable, easy to carry, that we can easily fold this up and carry it in its pouch. Four, four, eight, then two. <gasps> four, <laughs> four, three. Yeah. Four, uh, three money. Get. Three. <gasps> three. <laughs> 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 Four, three. 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 Four, this is one of the very ancient games yet very popular till date that can keep two to four people occupied for hours. We absolutely love this game and we always get super competitive and go through all of the emotions when playing this game. We as a family thank Akriti Handmade Creations for sending this over to us and I honestly think this could be a perfect piece to gift for any occasions like parties, housewarming ceremonies, return gifts, um, birthday presents, kitty party presents or Diwali presents uh, that you are thinking. Akriti Handmade Creations have plenty more collections that you can choose to your taste. So I am leaving a link for you all to support small businesses like this and make those changes buying in bulk um, such gift ideas to be incorporated in your next upcoming events. Come on, one. Two, three. Two, three. And with this game carried on for hours, we definitely need something to snack on. We love to keep munching and here is to a perfect pack of goodies that we got from Indulge, a homemade delicacy, a homegrown brand which started in 2022 during the Bali season. Radha Ramanathan being the solopreneur who is doing an amazing job and is really looking forward in scaling up getting corporate orders. They take orders for overseas customers as well. They have an Instagram account and a WhatsApp business. Um, I'm leaving all the details in the description box, so please kindly make sure to check this out. They have a good choice of menu with uh, millet chevda and planning to launch more such millet snacks in the menu, which I think are quite healthy option. 
They have packaged the products well, which makes it really easy to carry and have all the details including the contact number on the packing. They are airtight Ziploc bags which have retained the shape of the snacks during the travel. What makes it best and easy to carry is the resealable bag uh, and, and doesn't ask for any other container for it to be transferred into. So here is millet chivda, tattai pizza, tengoi, tattai, seppu moroku, and carrot mysore pak. They are priced reasonably and they also sell idli, dosa, chutney powder, rasam powder, dal powder mix, sambar pre mix, no sugar delight, multigrain laddu, mango jam, masale dar sweet, protein mix powder, tengoil muruku, apart from all these that have been showcased. Look how crunchy they are, they all taste excellent. What I loved the most is that they are not oily at all and have the freshness intact. We are also looking forward to snack on these snack packs. We all have our own favourites with Millet Chivda being my husband's favourite, with Shreya loving the Carrot Mysore Park and Sanika in love with the Thai Pizza and I enjoyed a bit of all the bags and when it comes to anything as such, I finish off the whole pack. With the upcoming festival season, uh, now that you know where you can get your Diwali sweets, savouries and snacks from, start place your orders. And I personally loved creating and promoting these homegrown brands made entirely and solely by a woman with them being passionate about the dreams and working towards it. With the thought of creating a video and promoting the brands, I personally got very connected with these four ladies and have sensed and felt a huge connection in using their products and sharing it with my family. I thank them and wish them every success in all that they have set to do. I am sure they have inspired and motivated so many more ladies who are watching this video to create and start anything that has been on hold in their mind. And now, here is the dinner platter with Hesar Pudi, Kara Shankar Pale, Sweet Shankar Pale, Chakli, Undis, Avlak Ki Vangi Bath and Crushed Wheat Bisibele Bath. All this was sent by Krishna Veni and her team with the delicacies that we finish off eating our dinner and enjoying every bit of it. The title, Women Empower Women, sounds apt as I honestly think these women have empowered a large number of women watching this video today. So let's keep empowering each other. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. See you all again in the next video. Bye for now.